This is Dr. Shaun Thakkar. I'm a general dentist practicing in Mumbai. My prime practice relies mainly on endodontics and retreatment. Having my prime focus in endodontics, I get to use a lot of new products, be it new systems, be it new endomotors. Today, I've got my hand on a new endomotor which has been recently launched into the market by Woodpecker. They claim it to be their flagship product. It has been designed and conceptualized, keeping in mind all the requirements of a premier practitioner. So my friends, without much ado, let's unbox the Endomatic E-Motor. So here we have the Endomatic E-Motor from Woodpecker. We'll unbox it right now. There is an authenticity check over here, a barcoded, to check whether the machine is genuine or not. We have with it inside the instruction manual. You have the Apex Locator troubleshooting manual, plus a one plus one year of warranty. The packaging list consists of, you have the main motor handpiece, you have the contra-angle with the spray nozzle. The contra-angle has an inbuilt Apex Locator and with a 6 to 1 ratio handpiece. You have the, the docking stand which doubles up as the charger. You have the power plug, you have the lip clip and the file attachment and you have the accessory touch probes and the additional lip clips. So we have the machine over here, we'll assemble this machine. This is the 6 to one head which, is have, with have, which has the Apex locator integrated in this. It's made up of very high resin polymer so that it acts as an insulating medium. That's the best advantage of this machine is you don't need any additional rubber sleeves which get, tend to become unhygienic and sterilization does become an issue when you have a multi-practice or you have multiple patients waiting for you. This is a spray nozzle, so before you begin, unwind, remove the spray nozzle. Inside you have the Apex Locator probe. The probe coincides with the hole over here. It's a small snap, you fit it. The Apex Locator plug goes in over here. So yes, we have our machine which is assembled and ready to dock. The best part about this system and design is at no point you have to remove this plug. The, the docking machine is also and the charger is designed in such a way that the Apex Locator will never interfere while you're working or while it is at rest. Second thing which I really liked is when you have a look at this machine it has got a nice white color, looks very elegant, a jet black display, OLED display with a golden ring on the head. The machine has a very nice inbuilt touch panel. The machine has individual buttons compared to many other machines which I've used which has a touch screen, a touch panel over here. What happens is in that case, in case any of these individual buttons need to be rectified, you have to repeat or you have to replace the entire touch panel. Here you just have to replace or rectify the individual buttons. The head swivels around 330 degrees which makes it easier for any operator to see the display as well as work at the same time. Ergonomics is not hampered. Another important feature is the battery life. This battery is 2000 mAh battery compared to the other closest competitor which is around 800 mAh. Now considering this, I was expecting the machine to be very heavy and bulky. But if you see this, the machine is very small, sleek and what they have done is They've shifted the weight in such a way that the entire weight is transferred into the center. The machine does not tip back in spite of having such a heavy battery. This ensures that while you're working, there is no traction or no tipping force when you work for long hours. The fatigue level is almost eliminated. So coming to the main features of this machine, this is the main power button. You switch it on. You have a setting button and you have the plus and minus button to increase or decrease the values. When you switch it on, you first enter into a preset memory that is M0 which is your Apex locator. In this case, what you do is, initially when you have started with your root canal, you want to take the working length. You just dock the machine. The lip clip goes in the patient's mouth and you have a file attachment to connect to your file. This completes the circuit and you can get the entire reading over here. Once you're done with the reading and you've got your working length established, you can move ahead with your other memories which are your rotation or your working memories. This machine has got 10 preset memories and 
for those who prefer working as per company recommendation you can add up to 30 pre programmable company manufactured settings as per your file or your system which you are comfortable using with the m0 is the standard preset for your apex locator then you go to m1 <clears throat> now how do we work you press the s button which is a setting button which you go into the operation mode the operation mode is the rotation motion of the machine which is a clockwise motion pressing the plus or minus button you shift into a counter clockwise motion this motion can be used to apply your sealer or your calcium hydroxide you have a reciprocation motion you have a adaptive torque reverse i'll be talking about this or you want you can keep it at preset at your electronic apex locator once you have decided your motion which mode you want to use all you do is press the setting button again then you shift to the speed the speed range we have from 100 rpm to 1000 rpm so i'll select my speed to be 400 then i'll shift to the torque the torque goes from 0.4 newton centimeter to 5 newton centimeter let's say for example for my file system i'll keep it at 2.2 the apical action now this is a brilliant feature of this machine wherein you have an option of having the apical action as reverse whether you want to stop or you want to keep it off now what happens at reverse is as soon as the file reaches the apex as determined by the inbuilt apex locator the file will automatically reverse which means you don't breach the apical for a minute auto start this is another brilliant feature the moment the file enters into the chamber or pulp canal it starts moving on its own you can keep it on or off whichever way you want auto stop the moment you withdraw the file out from the tooth the file stops the machine stops moving so these are basically very high sensor a very high technology concept or uh, chips which have been integrated into this machine flash bar position this lets you adjust your apex locator to whatever point you want wherever you want the apical reverse action to begin apical slow down this is another brilliant feature which has been incorporated in this machine so what happens over here is as soon as the file goes near the apex or it approaches the apex the file will stop and auto reverse at 100 rpm rather than 400 rpm so if i keep this slow down as off the moment a file binds or engages at apex it will auto reverse at 400 rpm with apical slow down function the moment i approach the apex first the file starts moving very slowly which means less stress concentration is happening and the moment my file binds it will reverse at 100 rpm so once you're done with all your setting all you do is press the mode and your memory is saved so my memory one is already programmed this file has a reciprocating action and a adaptive torque reverse action what is the main difference between these two is in reciprocation the forward angle is always less than the reciprocating angle which means the file cuts more in its reverse action what happens is the file is moving in a continuous forward circulation motion till 300 rpm when it reaches a trigger torque of 1 newton the file starts oscillating or reversing at 180 to 90 that is a forward angle of 180 and a reverse of 90 so in this case the file cuts more in the forward action there is no reciprocation per se it is a forward cutting action but this action or this feature ensures that the file does not undergo continuous cyclic stress it starts reciprocating another feature what i generally find very useful is the head now compared to all the other closest competitors this head is around 8 mm in diameter and 1.2 mm in height not to forget this has an integrated apex locator so for this feature the height and the diameter is really 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 convenient i have personally used this in third molars and i have found no hindrances another beautiful feature is when we insert the file inside the entire shank sinks in the head which means you get around a millimeter or two more working length while you're working with this file this is another added bonus while working you can swivel the oled display to up 330 degrees so that even when you're working you get to see the rpm and also the trigger torque at which you have given your preset settings if you want to switch it off this machine has a standby time ranging from 2 minute to 6 minute depending upon your preferences but if you really want to switch it off you just press the s button and the power button and it goes off another feature is if you want to shift between a right hand and the left handed operator you can go into the main company setting by long pressing the s and the power button 
you will get the software version you get to see the dominant hand you can change your operator preference from right hand to left hand calibration if you want to really calibrate the torque and the gear before you start you can calibrate the machine or you can also increase or decrease the beeping volume for your pixel locator and other functions and if you want to restore the settings to your company default you can restore it and it will switch back to its own default settings so overall if i see the final verdict i find this machine to be very well conceptualized it's a very high end technology which is incorporated into this this is being kept into mind considering the end users requirement you have a small head which gives you a clear accessibility you have a very nicely well designed ergonomic machine you have a 2000 mah powerful battery believe me i've used it for 20 root canals and still haven't charged it the head swivels to 330 and 30 degrees thus facilitating your ergonomics you don't need to use any additional plastic sleeves or plastic or silicon rubber coverings over it for insulation this high grade polymer works very well it's autoclavable So overall if I give it a verdict yes a fairly accurate machine if I were to loosely quote matrix I would say you take the red pill and you end up tomorrow doing the same end of work you were doing or you can take the blue pill and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes thank you